All right, hello out there. This is my first update of my Airport 1200 scale that I'm in the process of making. I decided a couple months ago that I was going to start this project, and I just completed the initial layout. Now, granted, this is pretty rough, and it still has a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of the markings on the tarmac. I'm going to have to refine the terminal a little bit, add some uh, details to the roof, uh, a little more details to the jetways, and uh, of course I've got all the uh, ground equipment. I just haven't opened it up yet. That'll let me add in there. So what I went with uh, this terminal is actually Terminal 1 of San Diego's Lindbergh Field, or I should say half of it. There's going to be two identical round terminals that make up Terminal 1. The other one's going to be mostly uh, Alaska Airlines with one frontier gate. Uh, this is going to be the first half, which is all southwest. Uh, it's been a pretty in the labor-intensive project because there's no kits that I was happy with, with 1200, so I had to go out and resource all this stuff randomly off uh, various websites and stores and uh, construct basically all of this stuff from scratch with the exception of the models. None of this stuff was designed for... Uh, airport making. So I made the terminal is actually made out of cardboard. It's a round circular cardboard box that I had to modify. The rings are made of wood and then painted with textured paint to kind of look like concrete which is what the airport's actually made out of. I get to get some dark uh, plastic tinting for the windows and I'll, I'll have to update the details on those windows since it's not just one continual strip all the way around in real life. And uh, the jetway, since I wasn't willing to pay $70 per jetway for the really nice ones, I, I mean, they're pretty rough. I'll, I'll get the quality a little bit better as I go on, add a little more details to it. But for right now, I'm, I'm happy with the way it's come out. But it has been a very labor-intensive, uh, lots of arts and crafts, lots of cutting wood and sanding down plastic. Uh, the jetways are basically fixed, with the exception of the, uh, they do telescope out, but they don't pivot. They're hard attached to the, uh, the connection points on the terminal. I'm not sure how I would make those things actually pivot. That would be nice if I could pivot them left and right, but for now they're, they're attached hard ways. Um, and they don't move up and down. I know some of the nice ones you can buy online, they can actually uh, elevate and lower at the end there. Well, these ones are all basically fixed, so you have to pre-make them for the type of aircraft that you're going to be using. This terminal was easy because Southwest only uses 737, so each con each jetway goes to the same height. Uh, so that was the easy part. My next concourse that I make, uh, the, the Alaska Airlines, the second concourse in Terminal 1, those are all 737s as well, with the exception of a couple CRJ 700s I'm going to have on there. I'll have one gate that uh, specifically goes to a Dash 8. And then there's going to be one gate for Frontier, uh, and they only use the Airbus. So that one's going to be a little different size since the Airbus sits higher. But uh, here, so here we go, just to give you a little close-up of what these uh, jetways look like. The jetways are plastic, plastic tubing, uh, but the rest of that's wood. So, uh, you know, the pivoting circular parts are wood. The wheels I got, uh, those are actually from, uh, those are replacement landing gear wheels. I believe were Hogan, I think was the company. So I just bought a bunch of those things and just uh, cracked off the actual tires to make the jetway wheels. That's where those things came from. Uh, but you can sell the rest of those circular are all wooden dowels. I've just had to structure and glue. I got some padded foam for the actual jetway awning that comes down over the aircraft. And like I said, it was uh, as hard as it was to make this thing. This is the easiest one since they're all 737s. And they all went to the same size, so I could kind of mass produce them a little bit. The next one is going to be harder. The 
Yeah, so there we go. Alright, I'll keep you updated as this thing gets uh, completed. Like I said, it's a work in progress, so next update hopefully it'll have a little more detail to it.